I was recently asked if I could overcome a problem. My client had built a course in Rise. They wanted it in Rise because they didn't have any storyline developers and that's what they wanted to do. They wanted to use Rise. But the problem was that they wanted a way of stopping a learner from progressing through the course without having to have done something. So they wanted to force the learner to tick a box and have evidence of this when the e-learning or SCORM package was uploaded to the LMS. They wanted to be sure that the learner didn't just click quickly through the training without reading anything or agreeing to these you know, terms and conditions, which is what they wanted. So the idea was that they could build some kind of blocker in there to say, I agree to the terms and conditions, yes or no. And if you agree to it, they can progress. And if you don't agree to it, then you must exit the course. Um, I suggested that if there's a way of actually locking down the course where progress can be stopped until a learner does something like tick a box, then this might work. The logic being that if the course was listed as complete in the learn management system, the LMS, then the learner must have ticked the box or said yes to agree to something to be able to progress and therefore to be able to complete the course. If they said no or did not tick a particular box, then it would be incomplete and SCORM would report this in, a, in the LMS, therefore as incomplete. So they could run a report on that and see who has a course that is complete or incomplete. I found though in the forums that RISE does not offer this functionality and uh, it surprised me because it's quite a simple thing uh, and it surprised me even more because there's hundreds of people saying, why does RISE not let me do this? I want to be able to stop learners from progressing unless they tick or agree to something. But I do have a solution. Now there's a big disclaimer to my solution. This is a definite workaround. It is not perfect because RISE does not have this feature and it does not work if you're planning on using quizzes elsewhere in the course. That's because I use a quiz as a solution. But it is a solution. And also just to let you know I use the quiz functionality not a quiz itself. I also read there is another way of doing this and that's to create a particular module and articulate storyline and then import this as a block. But this isn't going to really work for my client because they don't have any storyline developers. Um, it's something I might cover in a future video, um, but for the time being, I'll show you a way of doing it by just using Rise. Right, let me show you. And whilst I have your attention, if you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, that'd be fantastic. Like the video as well, that'd be even better. So I've got a course here, so this is a just a generic course I'm going to use. And I've got down the bottom here, add a lesson. So I'll call it T and C, so terms and conditions. T's and C's, press return. Add content. The content we want to be adding is a quiz. So select quiz. You've got all the information here. You'll be familiar with this if you're creating these. You've got two quiz questions here. We don't want two, we just want one question. And the question is, do you agree to the terms and conditions? So enter quiz title here. I'll click on this. Do you agree to the terms and conditions? Question mark. The options are either yes or no. Yes being the correct answer. Feedback. Now, I'm going to pick feedback for correct or incorrect. If it's correct, I don't need to worry about feedback. If it's incorrect, I want to sell them. You must select yes. Now, you might want to word that a little bit better. But here we have it. Now, if I just go back a screen, let's have a look. What do we have down here then? So we've got the terms and conditions and then we've got the summary. But what we want to do is have the terms and conditions here and then move on to the summary afterwards. So again, I need to just edit the content because there's a few more things to do. You've got here as well, it says describe your quiz and add questions on the left. Well, this is where you'll be saying um, the terms and conditions are and then putting what the terms and conditions are in there. So you can just copy and paste that in from wherever you have that information. You must also go into settings. This is important. Go to settings. Passing score, change it to 100 because we want them to uh, get 100%, i.e. answer it correctly. Quiz retries, leave this as unlimited. You don't want to stop them. You want them to say yes, so just leave it as unlimited. This is important though. Require passing score to continue. Turn that on because 
If they get it wrong, i.e. they answer no, we want them to not be able to continue. So leave or turn that part on, that's very important. I'll close that. We want to preview this, but don't preview it in here. Just go back a screen and preview it from this, this part here. So we want to preview it. Scroll down to it. So T's and C's, so you can see a summary. We can't go into a summary because we've not done the, train, the terms and conditions yet. So I'll click on T's and C's. The terms and conditions are, wherever they are. We've got a button that says start quiz. Now we can change that, I'll show you how to do that. But we'll do that in a minute. Start quiz. Do you agree to the terms and conditions? Let's say no. Click submit. Incorrect, you must select yes because that's the text that I put in there. Press next. Now because it is a quiz, it's showing me I scored 0%. I failed it. And I cannot go on to the part that is the summary at the end. It says it must pass a quiz before continuing. So I can take it again. Terms and conditions are, take again. Do you agree to the terms and conditions? Yes, I do. Submit. You got it correct, press next. And you got 100%, well done. Now I can take it again, but I can now progress to lesson 16, which is the summary, and then I'm into the summary. So you can see that it works. If I edit this though, so what we want to do, because remember when we actually went into here, and we, uh, we had the preview, so let's just preview this part. Remember it said start quiz, we don't want that. So I'll show you how to change that. To change it, go to settings. So you must be in this section here, which is you know, the, the top layer. Go to settings, labels. Now I've already created one. You'll normally be sat in one that just says English. So you normally look like this. I recommend you then do create new. Give it a new name. So. I'll call it English TNC just so I know what it is. Press OK and then scroll down. So we have this button here. The button says Start Quiz. Click in there. It looks like you're not really doing anything when you click in it, but you can edit this text. So click in there, press Delete or Backspace. Not enough space for that for the see terms and conditions, so let's go for that. So I changed that button that would normally say start quiz to say agree to T's and C's. I'll close this. Let's now preview this once again. Scroll down, terms and conditions or T's and C's. Agree to T's and C's. So you can see it's worked. Now this is where there's a big, 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 big disclaimer. If you're using a quiz anywhere else in this course, the button that says start quiz will now say agree to T's and C's. So you can't change that button if you're going to be using it elsewhere. However, if your course does not have a quiz in it, then you can change that button to say whatever you want it to say. So that's just something to, to bear in mind. Anyway, you now know how to create in RISE a method of stopping the learner from progressing unless they agree to something. And what they're agreeing to is the terms and conditions in this particular case, which is actually just a quiz, but the quiz shows 100%, so therefore, using SCORM, you can mark that you know the, the user's achieved 100% or that they've completed the course because they won't be able to complete it without agreeing to those terms and conditions in this situation. Hope you found this useful. Once again, if you can uh, subscribe to the channel, that's really helpful for me. And um, I hope you, uh, you gain some knowledge on how to use RISE.